keep talking if you want. Yeah. I'm gonna cut you off. I'll wait. Not in a rush. So, I'm interested. It, like, with the clarity, with, right now, we're talking. We're talking about clarity, we're talking about clouds, we're talking about that type of stuff. Is there a piece right now that you're like, oh, I'm getting ready for competition and it's like, oh, I need to get more clear on this or like, oh, there's a blur or no, like I got this down, like I've competed a decent amount of times. So I'm like, I'm ready to fucking go. Yeah, I think um, in terms of this competition, it's kind of like, it's, it's crazy, right? But it's like the dream. It's like yeah. literally the dream. Like you don't even understand, but like, it's like the dream, you know what I'm saying? Like and cl this, clarify, clarify, yeah. like dream, what's a dream? Yeah. And, and, and so I'm like, like as in, as, no, it. yeah, so as in like, being on this competition, being on this card as a whole has yeah. been a dream of mine, yeah. you understand? So like, that is, that is cool. Um, having a really tough opponent, like that is cool. Yeah. Um, so I think, um, just like when we were at ADCC trials, right? It's really important to navigate emotions yeah. and navigate and be specific with like intentions, you know? Yeah. Um, I truly feel like I, I have a good amount of reps on competing. I have a good amount of reps on controlling my emotions. I have a good amount of reps on focusing. Um, I, I really, I, I don't think, the only thing I think that I could use to be better in this situation yeah. is more competition experience at this level you understand yeah. like with yeah. the press conference with like this yeah. and that and with yeah. all these emotions going everywhere um but i i do have confidence in myself and just being present and like yeah. n like knowing that like i'm just on the side of the river and these are all just leaves going by you know yeah. and like if i stare at one leaf and i like focus on it that i'm not like it looking might look at, ugly but you're like oh no there's so much more though you have yeah, to just step exactly. back and you know flow with the yeah. go so um i think uh in terms of clarity i think i'm really clear with what my intentions are for the week and i'm really excited to to get after it um but i'm really focused on that emotional part you know because yeah. I, I really feel like not an excuse but i feel like i feel like i could have won the whole adcc trials you yeah. know i didn't but um, I feel like that's how I felt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You saw, you felt yeah. it, you know, I felt like superb, um, but it was like I lost focus for a second, you know? Yeah. Um, so this week it's like goal oriented in terms of like keeping the energy at like 40 to 50% all week. And then yeah. on Thursday, like kicking it up to like 70% and then not even going to like 95%, like in yeah. my match, like going to like 80% because it's it could be 15 minutes you know mm -hmm. so being like totally not only able to control the match and bring it to where i want to take it but also like being able to like defend and stay mm -hmm. conscious and stay present yeah. and stay um like believing in myself mm -hmm. the whole time you know i think like it's so hard again going against like really good guys to like believe in yourself sometimes you yeah. know like yeah, even yeah. though we train so hard and like like we're just like yeah. you work these guys like and and this is something that you know like ryan appleby has always helped me with he's like dude as soon as you touch somebody they're human as soon as you touch them yeah. stop working and he always tells me because he knows that like fangirl over these guys and yeah. stuff like that so he's like dude like these guys are all human bro you touch yeah. them you hand fight hard you stay you stay in their face they're gonna they're gonna break you know yeah. so that's the plan and um i I'm, i think i'm really clear in terms of like how i can do that right yeah. so it's not like let's hang out let's go to the club let's go to yeah. this let's go it's like we have a really good group we have such a good energy between yeah. us zach will get here tomorrow you know yeah. um really just ah, yeah because there's like a, a couple things right so it's almost like it's almost like you've done this enough times but this event's a little different the, 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 i think in the part that you're talking about For here sure. it's almost something like Dude, not normally is there like a whole series before you actually get here. Yeah, right? for so sure. So it's like there's a lot of people, a lot more people watching. There's a lot mm -hmm. more excitement. Yeah. So that's probably like new. Dude, years. there's. I just quit my job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I just quit my job like this in a way. Yeah. And I'm not putting this weight on myself, but obviously subconsciously I am. Um, this in a way is like, am I? Am I? am I good enough? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. it 100% does not yeah. dictate that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But in your heart it does, you yeah. know? So like, um, but I truly can tell you right now, you know, like I, I trust, I trust God. I trust Jesus, you know, like that my way is going to be the way and that, um, I know that like, you know, um, I just need to be strong in those tough moments, you know, and yeah. he's right next to me, you know, because like in those tough moments where it's like, win, 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 nah, dude, be present, do your thing trust your training you know i trust yeah. our training so much 
you know yeah. like our trust we're trying so hard man. and it's so it's something that's so so freaking like counterintuitive right because it's almost like you train really hard there's like a whole like masculine side of you just like grinding and putting it together and day in day out just kind of like sticking with your schedule but then when it actually comes to the real thing right like potentially this being the real thing like what you've been training for it's like you got to do the opposite of that mentality and just let things happen right. because mm-hmm. the work was already done right mm-hmm. potentially if you eat like shit today if you drink like is that yeah. really going to affect you maybe maybe maybe, bit, maybe yeah. not right it's like but like majority of the work was already done and obviously right. i'm not i'm not saying oh let's go party <laughs> but, <laughs> no but you're saying that there's like but you're saying that there's like that release side yeah, of it, right? Dude. So like release so, and let everything be where and it is. That's where you start getting like the the biggest difference. You're starting mm-hmm. now talking about um, really big gamers compared to people who shit the bed. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, because at the end of the day, you did the training. Now it's about hey, how can I just put the like put myself in my best positions and just let myself flow Mm -hmm. right because potentially you do that and you lose that's fine you do that and you win fuck yeah good things happen right so either way it doesn't matter about the result itself you win you lose dude like either way like you will be fine this Mm -hmm. is a glimpse in the life of renee right Mm -hmm. now we step back and we see all the leaves oh no this came and went right right -hmm. Right now it seems big it was like it was like the show you know like like and i i mean i being honest like i think i quit in that match like i think i should have won that match you know like not saying that i'm better than that guy or anything like like i just like didn't stick to the game plan you know the game plan but that's the thing like it was such a level in terms of like competition experience i don't have competition experience where i go out and don't try to submit somebody yeah you know what i'm saying so like that ended up exhausting me in the end and like i dude i'm telling you like I remember, you know, I remember, you know why? Because I remember the 32 other Kimuras that I got out of, yeah. and then that last one I didn't get out of. Like, I remember feeling that knee on my on my bottom side bicep. I remember feeling my hand going behind my back. Yeah. I remember feeling the motion in my head to do the escape, and my body just being like, <sighs> like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I remember wanting, looking at fucking Craig, bro, yeah. and just being like, fuck, man. Um, but uh, I, I think, Dude. like, in the moment, I just released that. In the moment, yeah. I was like, man, that was, that was another rep, you know, that was another practice session. And as much as it was the biggest opportunity of my life, um, I think I did my best with it. In that moment, obviously I broke down, it was super, super sad, but um, yeah. going back to it, like uh, I'm just, I'm super thankful I was healthy, I'm super thankful yeah. that I had a good battle. Yeah. And um, I really think that, uh, I mean, obviously you saw like, that was November, you saw how focused I was for ADCC yeah. trials, you know? Yeah. So like, that was like the best I've been you yeah. know and then since then we've taken a little step back a little reset and now it's like gas pedal and like everybody's everybody's name is on the hit list you know yeah. so now it's like doesn't matter who it is doesn't matter what the school yeah. set is it's like let's let's fight and let's you know let's keep growing you know like now that it's like full-time professional athlete full-time jujitsu um yeah. obviously i want to focus on teaching seminars and stuff like that but in terms of the focus that we were talking about yeah. the other day like clearing out the clouds like then why not push it? Why not push yeah. it? And like right now, like yeah. no response. Like I don't have a school. I don't have this. I don't have that. Like I have like three classes I teach a week. Like I can yeah. really put everything into myself into being the best version of myself, and um, you know just to see what comes from that, and mm-hmm. and be okay with what comes from it, you know, yeah. and, and um, just let reality be reality. So super excited and um, super grateful, you know. Like yeah. like we we're just downstairs and like I'm like pissed off. You. I'm like pissed off that we had to pay for parking, and I'm just like looking around. I'm like this hotel's nice as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm with the greatest people. You know, like, I mean, my my credit card just sent me a look, like I'm maxed on one credit card. The other one just goes, dude, you're just past the limit. I was like, oh, good thing I brought cash. You know, so um, so I, but but that's that's trusting the process. You know, that's trusting that like. You know, I mean, thankfully we didn't get the Tesla, but like, thank, like it, it's just trusting the process in terms of like things are gonna work out, and that like, like I'm serious, like right now I have no money, like I'm st- straight on my yeah. money, like all the yeah. money I have in my fan pack is all my money right yeah. now. So like, I'm invested, you know, like, and, and I'm trying to make it work in all facets. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have like dropped almost seven thousand dollars on the gear, and I made almost half of it back already, but yeah. I have like all the other stuff coming too. So just really trusting myself in in you know making making the dream a reality and this 
is Part is it, it? Yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying this yeah. is it you know what i'm saying yeah. to go from like dude what like i sit and watch every every event every event and to sit and tell myself right now that like i'm the fight before gordon ryan dude that's like that's uh, like you wrestling before jb yeah like jb's yeah. about to go up and he's like yo good luck bro and you're like, what yeah. the heck? <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah, um I, I'm, I'm so thankful to be connected with so many good people you know like um Oh, like uh, Kyle Chambers just called me. He's in the finals. You know, I can't wait to connect with him a little bit. And like, yeah. he's just, he's the man. Um, and like the flow guys, like Reed and everybody, like uh, just, just, I don't know, man. Everybody could be a dickhead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Everybody could be an asshole. And there are people that are assholes, you know? Yeah. But um, I'm just really happy to be like close in a close knit community with like good people. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm truly like in trusting God, like I, go out, get exposed, get my ass beat, shit the bed, whatever. Man, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful yeah. for the people around me. And um, I'm just, dude, who gets to do this? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, who gets to do this? And I don't know, I, I believe I put in all the work, so I'm, I'm ready to take the map. But just like they asked me in the airport, you know, like I'll be ready when, when it comes, you know? Yeah. So I think navigating that is gonna be the toughest part, you know? Yeah. Not, getting ready to fight like like that's that's the whole fight that's yeah. the whole fight right there you want to oh you want to go right now yeah no we're gonna go in two days control yeah. yourself you know yeah. what i'm saying that's uh -huh. the battle like bj penn said that like he was like man like the fight's not the fight the fight's like yo i'm gonna fight you in three months <laughs> you know what i'm saying so like um yeah i'm really i'm really excited and i'm really really grateful for sure okay, yeah. for sure and that's the the emotional intelligence side of stuff, right? It's like, it's like, yeah, I'm I'm getting ready for war, but it's all right. Like, I'll, yeah. it'll come, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna use all my energy right now for until it, like I really actually need to use mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, even what you're mentioning, right? It's like, it's like you want to use the the moments where you're like, oh, I mentally gave in at that moment before. Yep. Use that those those memories to really fuel like, oh. It's not oh, gonna yeah, happen again, you know? It's not gonna yeah. fucking happen yeah. again. No man, and I've and, and I put in the work, you know, like in terms of like training, like it's so crazy because like breath work, like like yeah. Hickson, you know, Hickson talking about breath work, like man, it's so powerful because like your mind is a liar. Mm -hmm. My mind was a liar to me in that moment. It was a liar. Yeah. That I was tired. I couldn't do anymore. I couldn't go further, right? It was a liar, you know, yeah. and I, but I listened to it, you know, so, um, uh, I've really been like, dude, like, uh, uh, my strength and conditioning, like I'll be exhausted, like completely exhausted. And then I have like three miles to do on the fan bike mm -hmm. and that's mental right there. <laughs> and then I have to go train after that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like stepping back from the body, stepping back from the mind, stepping back from the thoughts just and that's the thing like even like sometimes when I'm li like I pay attention to how you talk and how you listen so much because like that's such a skill you know mm -hmm. and like so many times when like I'm hearing somebody and this is like my bad you know like sometimes people will be talking and I just like want to say what I want to say already yeah. but like I just let go of that and I'm just like in the moment it's like so much more like um mm -hmm. it enhances it so much you know mm -hmm. like being totally like here like listening to what they're saying having nothing to do like just in stepping back and being yeah and just feeling it you yeah. know um so like just allowing you know the moment the Tao to flow through you know and i think trusting god is like a huge one too but um yeah for yeah. sure yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys episode one Kenneth Souza. Santiago martinez um we're here in austin texas our journey started um we picked up quentin and Santi in Bethlehem. We drove um, all the way to, shout out to Mayu Kilo, Family Food Truck, Clara Bella, Kawe, Chalela, everybody. They hosted us at their house. We had some pigayo, we had some tomahawk steaks. Dang, man, that was, well, how good was that? Dude. Quentin, how good was that? Dude, it was incredible. It was insane. <laughs> um, just too blessed is the word I would say. Um, grateful for them. Um, they let us stay at their house. Um, we, we got dropped off at the airport early in the morning. All feeling good, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Had a really good time just in a small time that we spent with them, but it was a perfect send off. Um, we arrived here in Austin. Um, shout out to everybody at Flow, Reed and everybody, they picked us up. 
and uh, just said what's up to us. We did some filming at the airport and then we came to the hotel only like 15 minutes away and now we're here just relaxing for the day. We have some meetings and then we have um, some uh, media stuff later on in the afternoon. Gonna get a nice workout, get a nice stretch. Um, Santi's gonna hit 10 round Tuesday as hard as possible so We'll, we'll definitely get some sick views of that. Are you excited for that? Fuck yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Dude, like, the, 10 round Austin. Tuesday. Have you seen the pictures? 10 round Tuesday. Shout out to Temple and Austin. Um, dude, it's going to be like 100 plus people on the mat. Oh, because of the event, probably. It, huh? No, because it's a huge school. Like, mm, their mat okay. space is bigger than ours. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, so shout out to Curtis. Shout out to Gabe Tuttle. Everybody there. Um, I have a seminar on Saturday there, so hopefully we can buggy show up the world on Thursday, and then we can just talk about it on Saturday. I don't even have to. I don't even have to teach people. Other oh, arm cue. What the oh, heck? This one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're really excited. Um, a couple days of kind of chilling, relaxing back our energy, connecting a little bit with the with the energy and nature around here, and then yeah, super excited to get after on Thursday. Um, anything. Anything from you, bro? Mm, not really. I'm just excited for the day. Yeah. Uh, how's your experience been? How's your? Pretty fucking cool. I mean, even with the flow guy, it's like just welcoming us. It's like, yeah. oh fuck, this is this is real. Oh, yeah. shit. I haven't been part of something yeah. like this. Just like cool, cool vibe. Uh, Reed was it Reed? Reed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, cool ass, cool ass dude. Yeah. Um, no, I'm kind of just excited to be here. Yeah. What was your favorite uh, food we had yesterday? <coughs> Tomahawk steak. I thought yeah. that was fucking. Delicious. Honestly, I like the bucanio well, better. What really? do you think, Quinn? The bucanio was definitely better, but the tomahawk steak was like it pretty was good. Unreal. I mean, it was I like the, the softness butter. of it. Yeah, yeah. but I would have liked it to be rare. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A little bit rare. But um, no, it was it literally melted. Overall, there's nothing. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no. There's, there's no tomahawk. negative things about yeah. the tomahawk. I saw the tomahawk on the freaking. Like, uh, we'll pull up the picture, but we saw the tomahawk on the freaking, on the grill. I was like, yo, what is this, <laughs> dude? Like, <laughs> picanha is already expensive, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, tomahawk dude. is like a dollar or two dollars an ounce. You Oof. know what I'm saying? That was like at least 40 ounces. So, shout out to Family Food Truck. Um, shout out to uh, Deanna and Sherryville Photography. And all of our other sponsors, too. Inverted gear, everything like that. Um, but, yeah, super excited. Oh, dude, uh, so, yeah. something I noticed, I haven't told her name, but, like, this trip compared to Vegas, he's equipped. Fucking inverted gear really hooked it up. Yeah, this, yeah, he, shout he's out, finally yeah. like yeah. kind of like legit travel stuff. Yeah. Before he was on his little backpack and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So inverted gear has this backpack. They have so many pockets, so many different things. Just so useful, you know. Like right now, shout out to Mobility Doc too. Um, I have um, I have all my stuff in here for recovery. So we're gonna hang out by the river a little bit throw our frisbee around. I have my so right stuff. Shout out to Subversive. When I competed on them, they gave us this whole thing. Shout out to Mobility Doc, hooking it up with the roller, with the Hypervolt, right? I gave Quentin a nice back massage on the, on the plane. He was like leaning over, he looked super uncomfortable, and I was like, dude, this is the spot. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to 10 Round Tuesday later. Shout out to 10 Planet Austin. This is actually, so this is a, uh, this, not to make it sentimental, and. <sighs> Tough to talk about, but um, that's actually uh, Zach Edwards is Rashford. Oh, so um, that um, to me, you know, um, to me that means so much, you know, because um, you step on the mat and you just want to scrap and you want to get rid of your problems and you want to do this and that, but you don't realize that it could be your last time on the mat. You know, you don't realize that like some people would give everything they had to be on the mat again. So, um, you know, we, we've had a couple people on our team that have gone through cancer in the past couple of years and um, Zach, unfortunately, did not make it through. So um, I will really be pushing for him. I know it's going to be tough to leg lock Andrew, but um, I'm going to try to do my best for him. You know, um, his mom is the best. We just had a really sick event. You guys can check it out on Flow, um, Zach Edwards Memorial. But yeah, he's, um, he's the man, you know, so um, he was somebody that really motivated me in the beginning. He like tapped me a couple times like at white belt or blue belt. And I was like, dude, who is this guy? And I was a purple belt and I was like, this guy's crazy. And then he started really getting into leg locks and we would just have the most insane battles all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, he's such a, we would, we would definitely butt heads sometimes. Like, um, he was somebody that we just butt heads, 
but um, we always had such a good vibe, especially like in competing, you know. So, and rest in peace, uh, rest in power, you know. But um, really looking forward to uh, competing, you know, this week. And man, like if uh, he's just, he was just somebody like if I told him I was on who's number one, like and I'm sure he's like around, you know. But um, he would be he would be so excited, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He would be and not like like I know so many people that like I'll tell and they'll be like, oh man, like why are you on? I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you joking? You know what I'm saying? Rather than be like, let's go, like yeah, so hype, yeah. you know? He wouldn't for a second think like, yo, why why am I not on? You yeah, know? he'd be super excited. So yeah, he's man, it's been it's been tough, you know, to get through it. But um there's only one way through and that's that's forward. So yeah, really excited to go there um, and get all this stuff done. Anything else? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, got some meetings and stuff, so we'll catch you guys later. Hey!